What's up, everyone? Brand here from Bloody Breakdown, and I know it's been a while since we've done anything to kind of cover Halloween kills, that being one of the major things I want to cover here on the channel. Um, kind of felt bad there for a while, not being able to put out any content, but there was really nothing to cover other than the obvious, blatant, fake script that had leaked onto Reddit. Uh, I believe it was r slash Halloween movies a couple of weeks back. And I made some posts on Twitter saying I wasn't going to talk about that. And that's about as much as I intend on talking about it here on the channel. It's fake. It's obviously fake. It was fake before we saw anything from these test screenings, which we're here to talk about today. Um, so, yeah, the less said about that, the better. Now, let's talk about what I just mentioned there, the Halloween Kills test screenings. Um, so, just two days ago... Uh, the studio sat down, had a focus group come in. I guess they were, you know, sworn to secrecy and whatnot, even though I'm sure a lot of them haven't uh, upheld that uh, non-disclosure agreement. I'm sure they signed because Reddit is, in fact, full of spoilers. But I did manage to navigate through, um, had some folks help me with that. I have absolutely no spoilers on the film. I'm not going to be giving any spoilers, nor do I want any. Uh, so bear that in mind in the comment section. I'm watching you all. Do not do me that way. <clears throat> this movie is very important to me. So what did we learn from the Halloween Kills test screenings? Now, uh, before I get into an image I have here that is on Reddit that kind of sums up a lot of the really positive reviews I'm hearing about Halloween Kills from these test screeners, um, shout out to all of you out there who test screened this film, participated in the focus group, and have won out and have given your honest opinion about the film without spoiling it. Shout out to you all first and foremost. Um, but there was one thing before I show this image, which will be the, the meat of this video that I want to talk about, was um, a lot of the reoccurring things I've seen in people's spoiler-free reviews uh, of Halloween Kills after said test screening a lot of people were saying it's Halloween on acid. I think a lot of people heard that and thought, oh no, not a Rob Zombie Halloween movie again. But uh, to the people that have been asked that uh, in reference to the question of Halloween on acid as Halloween kills, uh, they say, yes, it is Halloween on acid, but it's definitely not in the same sense as a Rob Zombie Halloween film. So whew, go ahead and swipe the uh, sweat off your brow there. Nothing to worry about on that front. I've heard it said that this movie is probably one of the more violent, bloody, gory Halloweens, which, let's be real, it's been a while since we got one of those in the original Halloween universe. Uh, say what you want to about Rob Zombie's Halloweens. They were pretty violent, bloody, and gory. But coming back into this original Halloween universe, the original timeline, I think it's going to be really cool to see Michael in that environment, uh, that aggressive again. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, <clears throat> so those are just a couple of things that I saw that continuously reappeared. Um, from what I understand, this movie does set up Halloween, ki uh, Halloween ends, but it's not the traditional second part in a trilogy that only exists to set up the end that a lot of people have been worried about. Um, so after seeing a lot of these uh, spoiler-free reviews, I'm very confident about Halloween Kills, and I'm a lot more excited now than I even was previous to this. Now, uh, I'm going to show this, in my estimation, what was the best short, sweet, spoiler-free review of this film in just a moment. But I do want to um, talk about there uh, are some, I guess, rumors afloat that we could get a teaser um, during the Super Bowl. I think originally some people were saying a full trailer, but I think it's uh, pretty well known that's probably not going to happen at this point. Uh, but be on the lookout, everyone, for some, for some teaser stuff for Halloween Kills. Uh, I believe it was June in 2018 when they first released the very first trailer for Halloween 2018, it coming out in October. So that was about four months difference. Uh, the film is coming around out around the same time in October as the previous did. So, you know, maybe we're looking at a full trailer around sometime in June. I don't know. It was so very successful. Maybe we'll get it beforehand, but let's go ahead and take a look at this because this was something that I just thought was a fantastic, um, 
spoiler free review. I love how they worded this. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put it up on the screen here. This is a post on Reddit r slash Halloween movies. Uh, and you may have actually seen this image floating around a bit. There's a reason why so many people, including myself, are saying that this is a fantastic review. It just is. Uh, so they title it with, They Actually Did It. And some ellipses there. With all the buzz surrounding Halloween kills in the final chapter of this trilogy, the director and writer finally delivered a solid sequel that will impress more than depress. And I just want to pause right there and say, I know there's a lot of detractors from Halloween 2018. Myself, I'm not one of them. Uh, but with that said, I know there are a lot of people that weren't happy with the final product. And, you know, I'm not here to shit on anybody's opinion. At the end of the day, it's just that, an opinion. Um, but even in just those first couple of sentences, if you weren't a fan of the original um, Blumhouse Halloween from two years ago, already it's it's starting to look up for you because I believe this film is definitely a continuation, obviously, but I think the tone is going to be very different. Um, you know, I've even been told looking at some of these that those 78, those 1978 uh, flashback scenes that the tone and the mood just revert back to John Carpenter's original. And I'm very excited to see David Gordon Green uh, pull that one off. Um, getting back to this uh, story here, it says, This will probably be the first time the franchise has gotten a smooth test screening with no problems whatsoever. And so far, so good. I'll tell you, this goes all the way back to Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, when this franchise first uh, had the, the the issue, I guess you'd say, with test screenings, and it has. It has been a nightmare, one right after the other, as it comes to Curse, H2O, Resurrection, the Rob Zombie films, hell, even 2018, they changed the ending based off of their test screen results. So, this is good. This means they got it right the first time, according to the majority of the people that I'm hearing from. Uh, so we'll continue here. I won't give out any spoilers due to the respect of Universal and diehard fans, but I will say this. Uh, 1978 is back, and I felt it every time the flashbacks happen. The tone, the feel, the music, even the shapes, attitude, and movement, it's all there. And that's what I was alluding to earlier. Uh, his name eludes me, but... Uh, there is a, a, a new person, a uh, another stuntman playing the role of Michael Myers in the 1978 flashback scenes. I've heard really good stuff about this guy. And from the little bit that I've seen, I feel confident he's going to do a great job. Uh, but everyone just has really good stuff to say about him. James Jude Courtney, as always. Uh, so that's very exciting as well. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, as for present day, I don't think horror has felt more organic and emotional in my entire life. David Gordon Green has not disappointed. Um, and that's that's the big one. That's the big one that I think a lot of people are talking about because he said he he got his point across so well. He, he hit on things, he or she, I'm not sure, um, that we're interested in hearing about with no spoilers, uh, respected Universal, respected the fans, respected Blumhouse, and also, you know, gave us something to look forward to. So there's a lot of those out there. There's a lot of those that say very similar things. That's why I, I take a lot of what I've said here uh, with more than just a grain of salt, because I think the general consensus is, uh, based on what I've seen, is that this movie is gonna, is is fantastic. And, you know, guys at Blumhouse Universal, don't change anything. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if you guys are pumping out a Halloween film with no test screening issues, get that to us ASAP. Put a bow on that son of a bitch and send it our way because I'm excited. So, it's all of your turn now. I want to know what you all think in the comment section down below. I've had some some people come and, and discuss some things with me. Um, Instagram, I believe it was, about how some people kind of have a conspiracy theory saying that, you know, these people are paid shills and that, you know, this is all just publicity for the film. I don't believe that's the case, but, you know, maybe you disagree with me or, or my summation of, of how I'm seeing these test screenings, or maybe you agree with me. Whatever the case may be, let me know down in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll never miss another upload here at Bloody Breakdown. And definitely check down below in the description section with links to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and my Patreon link where you can support my work and what it is we do here at Bloody Breakdown. So with that said, I'm Brand from Bloody Breakdown, and we'll catch you all next time.